Bobby and I have been putting the miles on our Bigfoot this week, and why wouldn't we? We've had high 60 degree, low 70 degree weather, and right now, zero wind, so this should just be a blast. In today's video, you're gonna see me, mainly on the sticks, fly this, we're gonna put a couple packs through it, and any of those awesome chase drone shots that you're gonna see are Abby on the controls of the Bigfoot, and I'm on the controls of the race drone. We love flying together, and this is a plane that just stands out. Bright white and red makes it very easy to see in the air, and amazingly, this comes in under $200. You can get it for 180 bucks right now, which I think is a very fair price. If you take a look at everything else that's on the market, that's a really good deal. But for about a week or so, I mean, time is of the essence. If you're gonna get one of these, you might as well pick one up now because I know they're going fast. We do have a promo code down by the link. If you pair the promo code with our link, you can get the Bigfoot for $160. I know for a fact that a ton of you guys picked one of these up after our first video. If you've waited, if you've hesitated, you better get one quick because I, I don't know, as of right now recording this video, they may have sold out. This is a steal. What other plane that has a 1300 millimeter wingspan with lights, five channels, you got flaps, can you pick up for that price? I just don't think it exists. This is made really well, it's rock solid. And one of the main questions you guys had from the first video, are those real rubber wheels? No, they are not. They're actually a really, really dense black foam that look like real rubber. The nice thing about that foam is that because it's black throughout, if you come in hard and you scratch it up with sticks and things, uh, it's not going to show scuffs. Like if we scratch our red paint up here, you're gonna see little scuffs of white like this. You know, eventually that's gonna start showing through, but you don't see that on the wheels. Occasionally, we have had airplanes that have been white foam with black paint on the wheels and it just looks bad after a while. So, uh, okay, no more, no more need to talk about this right now. Let's just put it in the air and have some fun. All right, let's do flaps. Might as well hit full flaps. There is zero wind. This should be fun. Yeah, there we go. Very fast takeoff. I mean, you don't need flaps on something like that, but why not? They're there with zero wind. This is so cool. Look at the, bl the blue sky. Just just beautiful day to be flying this. Abby, I can still see that bright light on the front of this plane. <laughs> I love the bright light. The headlight is yeah. amazing on this. Now one thing I want to talk about that we're doing in this video and with Abby and I just being out flying to get today, we have um, the same batteries that we had the last time. We need to test and see which one is the culprit because I got it mixed back up with the rest. So if we have a weak battery, I got my LiPo alarm in there today, we're going to see if, um, if we can set it aside and actually mark it and get that puppy recycled. So it doesn't feel like doesn't feel like this is the bad battery, so that's good. We got lucky. Let's do a snap roll. Kind of a snap roll. Uh, a lot of people, a couple people I should say, were asking about how to do a snap roll. Hey, let's talk about it. So when I do one, and I may do it wrong, I get a little speed up, I aim the nose up, I throttle down, and then, we'll talk about it on the next pass, I go full opposite directions on the sticks okay so my left stick goes down and left and my right stick goes up and to the right i hold it there until the wing gets level and then i pull out of that does that make sense to you abby does that make sense i was just focusing on the plane that's fine so <laughs> both listening sticks go in opposite directions for me to do a snap roll I, that's that's it i pick up speed and then and if there is wind we got a little bit of wind picking up now i put the nose into the wind speed up and then just push them in opposite directions and hold it as long as you can until you know you got to pull out of it that's how i snap roll 
may not be the prettiest snap roll ever, but this plane, the fact that this is like a big bush plane doing that, it's just kind of crazy, isn't it? Yes, it does awesome, look crazy. Though. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I love this plane. It's taking the place of one of my Tundras uh, because, you know, I don't have an infinite amount of storage. Look at this, we can do an outside loop. Nice. Yeah, we haven't done it. I haven't done any like, I think these are Cuban 8s in a long time. Let's do a couple of those. This plane is just really one of the most well-rounded planes I've ever had my hands on. <laughs> It's big, it's powerful, it's beautiful, it's got the lights, it's got the flaps. What more could you ask for? This is, and a lot of you agree, at $200, that's a fair price. They've got it listed at 180. That's an extremely awesome price. Why wouldn't you have one of these? Lo and behold, we have this awesome coupon code that we found. It takes 20 more bucks off. You now get it for 160. We're going up, here we go. I say that for Abby so she's ready to track. <laughs> I was trying to keep it zoomed up for a lot of this flight. Oh, there's yeah, your there's alarm. Yeah, there's the alarm, but I've been flying pretty hard on yeah. this flight. I was just trying to keep the camera zoomed in on this flight so they could get some close shots and maybe your That's next cool. battery do more far away. That's cool. See how good the outside loop will look. You ready? It's always scary to get into the outside <laughs> loop at that angle. And that was not, that was, that was pretty ugly. So we'll do it again on a full charge battery. These are just 1800 milliamps. I'd recommend you fly on a 2200. It almost makes us not tail heavy, but it's definitely not perfect. I'd fly on a 22 if it were me, but I just gotta, I gotta test these 1800s that I have and see if they're worth keeping. This one, it's worth keeping. I've probably had it for at least five years or so. Can we, I didn't do a very good knife edge the last time I flew, there. I can feel the battery sagging. I can hear the alarm getting low. So let's bring it in. We'll land it coming right toward us. You ready? Yep. This is just, I'm, I'm having a blast. Good. Here we go. Zero throttle and let's put it down. Oh yeah, take that one. Beautiful. We'll take that one. Good job. Let's do one more, one more flight at least. Well, basically the point of this video, uh, at least for me, had I had two things in, in mind for my goal. One, I wanted to get out here and test these batteries and see where the bad ones were. And two, to really drive it home and tell you guys how, not vital, but just how really important it is for you to pick one of these up. You're not gonna find a plane this size and these capabilities for $160. It just isn't there. That's free shipping too. Some websites will show a good price on the airplane, then they'll charge $40 to ship it. This plane for $160, free shipping is insane. I think this is one of the bad batteries, but I don't hear the light bulb alarm. And I'm hoping this is one of the bad ones because we still need to save a good one to <laughs> fly with. Oh, look at the birds. Oh my gosh. Look at the birds, let's go get the birds. Look at the birds! We need to save one of the batteries for good ones to do race drone shots with Abby. I split the birds up. <laughs> Sorry birds, you can go have your own fun You weren't now. even close. I split them up. Two of them went off to the right and two went to the left. Yeah, they're looping back around. Yeah, they'll, they'll regroup. <laughs> Sorry birds. So, I think yeah. the cranes behind us scared them to begin with. You're so. probably right. I, I just... I'm here to tell you guys when there's something bad on the market to avoid. Uh, uh, first and foremost, I'm, I am very happy to be that person. But secondly, when there's something worth buying, I wanna be able to tell you. Um, this probably shouldn't be your very first airplane. Just unless you plan on buying a trainer plane with this and save this one and build up to this plane. 
I don't think it would be the best first plane unless you have a really good friend that can buddy box and train you on this. I mean, it is a tough, durable plane and it has really nice big wheels so you can take off and land just about anywhere. Uh, but it doesn't have safe technology or anything like that unless you put one of those receivers in it. Here we go. I mean, if you crash this with that front mounted prop, I mean, it you risk you risk bending the motor shaft and stuff you too. Could. That's right. So it's not extremely beginner friendly. There's no beginner friendly features on this plane. You know, something like the Aero Scout or something if you're looking for a big plane. Ooh, I could almost I could almost harrier that with that wind. Let's do one more snap roll because the battery's feeling pretty good. That was a that was a weak one, but we did it. This is just, I really, really like this plane. I even like it more than the Tundras. I really do. If I if I only had one Tundra, this would replace my Tundra. Abby, you're you're gonna like flying it today a lot more than the other day just because- <laughs> The other day, I was fun. pretty nervous. I was so nervous was that really I only think, you only got a few shots of me flying it on the race drone. I had Nate's glasses in my pocket. So as soon as his battery was done, <laughs> he could land it for me. I was super nervous to fly this one. We got you, we got you a couple I'm nervous miles. today to fly it. <laughs> oh, well, you know why? Just cause you don't have that safe there. I know. So Abby and I are It is a crutch. Thing. Safe is a crutch, but it's a good crutch. <laughs> yeah, it encourages <laughs> it you to fly. It saves your wallet. <laughs> Abby and I, I think we might do another flight together. Um, and I might fly, and this is, we're just talking, maybe we'll do it on camera, maybe not. But everybody liked when we did that GoPro shot. Here we go. Whoop. Um, I might fly this and Abby will fly the crop duster together. Granted, this is $100 cheaper with our coupon code than the crop duster. Uh, and so I'll fly this one and Abby will fly the crop duster. We'll put those in the air together because they both have really awesome lights. Really, really awesome lights. Let's do a landing, Abby, and we'll do it with flaps. Okay. You coming toward us? Full or? flaps on and I'm just going to, I'll do a pass here. Look at that. Wow. It's flying really well with those flaps. Didn't do much flight today. Wow. <laughs> really slowed down there, yeah. didn't it? I'm gonna go full flap, back up, flaps back up, and then I'll do a landing facing us okay. with flaps on. That should be fun. We don't get to do that very often. No. So I just go out kind of far, bring it in. The winds of Death Valley, when coming in this way, can really mess with you. <laughs> Even when there's no wind, it can still get you. Well, you gotta so make sure you don't miss the right field depth too. perception <laughs> oh yeah okay here. you want to look for the shadow yeah that's what i tend to do you see the shadow you're generally safe hey Good she's job. on the ground this is one of i mean this could easily be like airplane of the year we're here in march so that's a bold statement but for the money i will go out on a ledge here on a limb and and this is now the bar i mean if we're looking at a plane that's under 200 dollars, it's going to be compared to this At $160, it just can't be beat. I'm really, really, really happy to be able to be the one to bring that news to you guys. I know a lot of my friends bought one of these. We're all gonna fly them together. The next opportunity we have to get the whole group back together in one location and fly again. And I'm really looking forward to that. This is a sweet plane. It is one of those planes that you know, sometimes I get a plane, maybe a jet or something, that I proudly put in the air. I Ooh, adrenaline rush, you know? 
man, that was crazy. And then it comes down in one piece and I'm like, okay, I'm never flying that again. I'm gonna set it on a shelf proudly <laughs> until I build those nerves back up to fly again. This is not that plane. At $160, I'm not saying that's a small amount of money, but for what you're getting, it absolutely is. This is a good everyday flyer. You're gonna bring this to an airfield and someone's gonna say, wow, that's a really cool plane. I've never seen that before. Where'd you get it? And you're gonna say, you know what? I'm a subscriber to the RC Sailors with the notification bell turned on. And because of that, I <laughs> save money. <laughs> Was that a bad pitch or what? <laughs> Turn your notification bell on. Seriously, the, the guys that have watched our videos early on, they know that it doesn't happen with every video that we do, but when those opportunities come, we try to bring you guys savings. We're talking to people and stuff, and every now and then, we find these coupon codes, these deals and stuff. This is one for you guys. So please take advantage of it. Hit the link in the description box below for this airplane. Use the coupon code that's right by that link. Pick yourself up an amazing plane. You can work toward this if you're a beginner pilot. Don't let it be your first plane. If you already know how to fly, take my word, buy this plane. Just have fun with it. You'll thank me later, I know you will. You'll come back and tell me about all your awesome flights. This is one that I can boldly, proudly say, go by with extreme confidence. Thanks for watching, guys. Hey, before we go, I wanna say a huge thanks to all these names that are scrolling by because without you guys, we couldn't do what we do. And before you completely click away, I want you to check out our maiden because this puppy, it can fly in wind. It flies in wind really well. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there.